Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit the blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel dashboards. All right, uh, today we had a uh, user posted a question in a forum and wanted to know how can I create a chart to represent this data. I have it down here. It was uh, they had a main topic that had 417 count. They had some subtopics that had a breakdown of that 417 into 381, 5, 5, and 26. And then some of these ones had further breakdowns into, like you notice, 381 has a breakdown into 160, 61, and 160. So I want to know, how can I represent this in a chart? Well, here's the chart that I've created. As you can see, it is a column chart, so uh, any chart type, uh, or most of the chart types will use this technique, but I'm using a multi-level category uh, for the horizontal axis. So you see the overall uh, version here is got 417 at the base, and in this subgroup of, it has 381, and that's broken down into 160, 61, and 160. And so you can kind of see the different groups. Here's the five that are a subtotal of five with one and four. Over here, there's no sub subtopic. Don't know how better to describe that, but this one had a uh, subtopic had five, and this one had 26. So you can easily see how they're grouped together for the entire uh, count um, that they're looking to do. And let me show you how you make that chart. Uh, so what I did is I've created um, category levels. Typically, you want to start at your lowest common denominator. So head on over into your sublayers. We had one and four. Uh, they didn't have one for this one, so I added one in there, and that totals five. And so you see, you've got a break in the data here. Uh, you've got five is equal to uh, the one and four. The 381 count, we have this smaller denominator here of 160, 61, and 160. I've left them in the labels, but I've created the data points over here in this far right D column. And then uh, these are the ones that had subtopics, but not sub sub breakdowns, uh, and just 5 and 26. So start at your lowest level, then work up. So these two here equal to this 5, which is just going to show there. These three roll up into this one layer here, and then you've got these two other layers. And then all of these four layers roll up into this one, and that's where we're going to put that top label. Uh, now, there is one thing that you have to be aware of. If I just create this and highlight this row here, or these uh, data points, go up to my Insert ribbon, go to my Column Chart button in the chart section, and then I'm just going to do a standard 2D clustered column chart. And uh, let me expand that so you can see it here. There we go. Uh, you will notice that my groupings aren't, uh, it's missing a category level. It's got the 417 and it's got the 381, but it doesn't have those sub breakdowns into those three bars. So how do we go about doing that? So the one thing you need to be aware of that you have to do is uh, you almost always have to put a label above the data points that you're going to do. So you'll notice I have this count that I've added, and if we include that in our chart, so instead of starting here and highlighting the data, let's start one above and include that one where we have a text of count right above our data series. And once again, we're going to go to our Insert Ribbon, Columns, 2D Column, and click on that. And uh, now you'll notice that our chart, because we've added the count above the uh, series values, it's created the chart that we were looking for. So. Uh, this, uh, if we right click on the horizontal axis and go to format axis, you will notice, see the axis option has this choice of multi-level category labels. If that's unchecked, you're not going to get what you want, but it, Excel knows to, uh, that you've got multi-levels of uh, category labels, and that's how you get this breakdown down here. So hopefully this was helping you to think and expand your mind on how you might be able to represent data within Excel. Please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com and subscribe to my user base so that you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Also, don't forget to sign up for my video channel so that you can get the next video posted as well. Thank you.